Welcome, I'm Samriti Grover and you're watching Brand Vision, the iconic series, an initiative of Next Brands. Through this series, we bring to you stories of organizations whose ingenious strategies help them gain an edge over their competition. These are stories of leaders who envisioned a better future for their conglomerates and left no stone unturned in making that a reality. Let's take a look at the evolution of four such brands. Gitanjali Group is one of the largest branded jewellery retailers in the world. Started as a company that was only into cutting and polishing of diamonds, Gitanjali Jewels has come a long way in making a mark for themselves in the branded jewellery segment. With an enormous presence nationally and in the global markets, this brand is committed to cater to all sections of the society. Take a look at the journey of this iconic brand. La, 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 a woman's best friend. It gives me that pride as a woman that uh, the setting of diamond is beautiful. They are every woman's desire. And the diamonds which they use, which gives a very royal feel. From time immemorial, women love to adorn themselves with the best in fashion, and Gitanjali has been at the forefront of delivering the best in design and quality. Founded as a company for cutting and polishing diamonds for the jewellery trade in 1966, Gitanjali Group is now a pioneer amongst major diamond and jewellery houses. In 1975 to 1985, majorly Gitanjali was engaged into, or rather 1990 was engaged into taking a major part into manufacturing of diamond cutting and polishing with a, with a new technology and we had international experts looking into it. And then finally from 1990 we entered into a jewellery manufacturing because a lot of things happen on the, on the gold side in the country. And company then expanded into a branded jewellery in 1994. That was the first brand that we launched and probably it was the first brand of the country. The group made its final departure from jewellery trade convention by launching multiple brands for various markets and price segments. Some of the leading brands in their kitty are Jili, Nakshatra, Sangini, Asmi, Dia, Parinita, Easy Diamonds and Lucera. We are predominantly diamond jewellers. We are a brand house. So we are actually a basket of brands. Uh, be it the Maki brands, Nakshatra, Asmi, Jili, Nirvana, Sangini and so on. So at the end of the day, uh, we are in the marketplace more as retailers hosting an entire bouquet of brands, whereas most other players in the market are fundamentally jewellers. So, you know, uh, the retail endpoint, uh, we go through the 360 degrees of retail. Jili, one of the first Indian jewellery brands, was launched in 1994 when jewellery was made and sold only by family-run jewellers. The brand broke this mould and shifted the paradigm from an occasion need to a need for every occasion. Well, Jili was the first brand which was basically, you know, we, when we launched it in 1994, we entered into department stores and it was a new... Uh, customers totally for this particular as was was basically uh, sold on the impulse base uh, so the most of the jewelry at that time was sold on a on a plant purchase rather you know for wedding and things like this Jilly, uh the designs are very fresh and youthful and very lightweight yet very elegant so uh, it is the perfect choice for everything and evening out 
increase footprint and reach, the group decided to distribute their brands through a variety of channels. From wholesalers to supermarkets and superstores to upmarket branded jewellery stores and now the e-commerce platform. Uh, we cover almost 3,000 uh, touch points, uh, which comprises of 2,000 retailers, about 675 uh, shopping shops, uh, which are uh, embedded across uh, large format stores, departmental chains and so on. Uh, we have almost about 150 franchisee points, which are retail points and about 200 company stores. So that engulfs the entire spectrum of uh, about 3,000 outlets uh, that we go to in India. And uh, we do an ambition uh, that over the next one year, we want to as, come as close to doubling that network. signing brand ambassadors that signify the true ethos of the brand to innovating in every sphere of the business. Gitanjali <laughs> always aims to give its customers the best in class. Basically, you know, we want Nakshatra to sell for uh, jewellery for a plant purchase like wedding jewellery or any auspicious uh, day or so. Uh, Aishwarya Rai was chosen for that particular and it, she nearly for 8 or 10 years she promoted then the Katrina but Bob, all of them always promoted or they were themselves you know that they would you know this jewelry would bring you divine luck as such while Jili is a absolutely new trends and uh, it's, it's basically known for a kind of a cult following that particular uh, trend as such. We are on the anvil of launching out into the market in a very big way a product that has been innovated, a new age metal, uh, which substitutes, which can really substitute gold in a big way. It's called Luminux Uno. Uh, it's been brought in into India by LJOW, which is the leading jewelers of the world and will be distributed in India through uh, the Gitanjali uh, network. It's 95.5% pure metal comprising of a combination of gold, silver, platinum and palladium. And in very difficult and troubled circumstances as this, it offers the look of gold at potentially twice the price of silver. So it's a complete consumer benefit that is available within, is going to be made available within arm's length of desire. So it's extremely important not just to innovate at a product level. We do innovate in terms of micro settings, we do innovate in terms of electroforming, we do innovate in several small technology areas. But category innovation as market leaders is something very important to do. To reach newer heights, Gitanjali Group is committed to be the jewel in your life. Eureka Forbes, a company that claims to be your friend for life, started as a small firm that introduced domestic water purifier, the Aquaguard, and has now turned into a multi-product, multi-channel organization. The brand sells products for household and institutional use, and along with their highest selling product, which is the water purifier, Eureka Forbes is focused on providing their customers with solutions that help them breathe clean air. Take a look. Eureka Forbes A name synonymous with happy and clean living was born in 1982 with the promise of delivering a healthy environment through their extensive range of purifiers. vision statement has been there now ever since we were born, which is to provide a happy, healthy, safe and pollution-free world based on trust and lasting relationships with our customers. There are a few keywords there, uh, which is the mission and the vision of our company. And really it's all about how we can create a happier environment, a healthier environment, and we've stuck to that. The customer has always been at the center of the company's ethos and the brand is constantly expanding its ways to reach out to them in order to understand their needs and aspirations. We measure with every interaction our customer score. So we have what we call the NPS system where we measure our net promoter score on an ongoing basis. We track it. Every single employee in the company has their variable pay linked to customer satisfaction linked to customer satisfaction. That's the kind of way in which we take our customers very seriously. We listen to our customers on an ongoing basis.
I have been using Aquaguard Eureka Corps from the time I think it's more than three decades, and I'm very happy with the product basically. And we've been upgrading it over the period of years, and still satisfied. Aligned along the five elements of nature, Eureka Forbes offers a wide range of water purification and home cleaning products through a network that has rapidly spread to encompass over 15,000 dealers across 1,800 cities and towns in India. We are water purifiers. We have vacuum cleaners to clean the earth. We have air purifiers to purify the air. We have uh, security solutions to protect the environment and we have fire extinguishers to protect you from fire. So these are the categories. We have in excess, I think, of about over 100 models just for the domestic sector. And then we have an institutional business and a professional services business, which would have another 50, 60 models uh, based on what we, um, you know, what, we, what we market to which industry, etc. Known for manufacturing top-of-the-line water purifiers, the company constantly keeps innovating to come up with the latest designs and offerings every year. We leverage ourselves along, uh, or we compete along, uh, along not just the product, where we do extensive testing, extensive market research. We try to give you a product which you haven't even anticipated yet. We understand, for example, Indian water, like nobody else understands. We've got 17 laboratories across the country which test the water conditions, pull out the right kind of water, and then, based on that, we provide the right solution. Staying ahead of the curve. Creating technologically advanced products that suit the lifestyle of the modern day consumer. Eureka Forbes has truly been at the forefront of delivering products with unmatched quality. Welcome back, you're watching Brand Vision, the iconic series and initiative of Next Brands. We come face to face with conglomerates and leaders who through their innovation have emerged on top of their game. This is a conglomerate that has ventured into various sectors like floriculture, manufacturing of oxalic acid, has a strong presence in renewable energy, FMCG, textiles, mining, real estate, and now has grown substantially into the education space. Believing in giving back to the society, the Sanjay Godavad Group has also created employment opportunities for many. Here's the growth story of this brand. It's a conglomerate that is bringing about a silent change in the lives of many. The Sanjay Godavad Group. Believing firmly in giving back to the society, the group started its journey in 1993. And since then, there has been no looking back as the company has diversified into various sectors, notching milestone after milestone. At that time, I didn't have much manpower and I used to drive my tempo myself and uh, used to uh, go for marketing and uh, with the, eventually we started uh, some consumer products and uh, while marketing I got idea that what is the need of the hour and what is the requirement of my customers so accordingly, we started our products. Despite venturing into a host of portfolios, what binds this group together is the sheer hard work and commitment towards their goal. Only hard work, hard work and hard work. There is no option for, for, for hard work. And if you have determination, devotion, dedication, then nothing is impossible in this world. 
So I think the most important thing that binds the whole group, if I have to summarize it, is the core values of the group of believing in each other, believing in the things we do and making sure that there is no substitute to hard work. Spread across 150 acres is the sprawling Sanjay Godavad group of institutions with an aim to provide students with value-based quality education in engineering and management studies, it's the innovative teaching methodology along with a highly qualified teaching faculty that sets this institution apart from the others. It is purely in terms of the professors and teachers we have. They are the ones who drive the entire industry or education industry as such and they are the ones who drive our education venture as well. So we have given them complete autonomy and freedom in terms of the courses that they want to do, how their education system has to be, how the curriculum has to be decided. I mean, there is not much we can do un under the AICT and CBSC regulations, but the teaching methods or the teaching techniques that they want to Im implement, there is absolutely entire autonomy to them to decide what is to be done. So this is how we are able to maintain the standard of education over here. Godavad Agro was born keeping in mind the immense possibilities that the floriculture sector offered. From distributing different varieties of flowers to creating huge opportunities by providing livelihoods to many, Godavad Agro lives up to the basic tenet of the group. Along with this, the group also ventured into consumer products that reach the country's semi-urban and rural population. Godavad Consumer Products is on the cusp of an explosive growth into other products and regions now. In consumer products, if I have to uh, summarize it, uh, we started with edible oil as the main uh, product, then diversified into salt. Today, we are uh, present into snack food. So in snack food, we have ethnic namkeens, we have potato chips, we have extruded snacks, and we have uh, your entire uh, range of fryams. Uh, we are also into uh, beverages. So in beverages, we have packaged drinking water, we have fruit drinks, and we have carbonated soft drink. We recently also launched rice. So in rice, uh, we do both basmati and non-basmati rice. So we have a fully automated uh, plant, which does the processing right from paddy till the finished grain. And we do both uh, consumer pack as well as bulk packs. The Sanjay Godavad group aims to reach newer heights in the coming years by enhancing lives globally which is inscribed in the ethos of the company as well. Ryan International Group of Institutions is a name synonymous with quality education. The group set up their first school in Mumbai in 1976 and currently has close to 135 schools located in 18 states within India and 43 outside India. With an aim to provide holistic learning to their children, take a look how learning is fun at this global school. Providing quality education. The best thing about my school is that the school thinks out of the box. I love the faculty, the number, the teachers that teach us. Uh, they are very encouraging and motivating. They help us to understand the concept rather than just learn what we are learning. Committed to excellence. There are various activities and competition on the class level and also on the international level which gives us a huge platform to showcase our talent and develop our skills. Meet the young and dynamic Next Gen from Ryan International, a school that believes in holistic education by moulding students into leaders of tomorrow. The meaning of Ryan, the word Ryan itself, means young royalty. Um, and so if you ask any of our kids, they will say that they're little kings and they're little queens in the making. They are the leaders of tomorrow. And that is the one message that we continuously give our kids. And if you, are, if you ask them, they say this every morning, that I can, I will, I must be a winner. The Ryan Group started its first school in Mumbai way back in 1976. And after a span of 40 years, they have grown into one of India's leading group of institutions centered around qualitative learning. There were two teachers that had a great passion to start a school 
because they saw that there is a need for the community. There is a need for good schools. There is a need for good education. Uh, the vision for the group was to give quality education to the children of this nation and now around the world. Ryan Group is spread across 135 institutions in the country and abroad. Their academic excellence is carried forth by the highly trained and qualified teachers who also deeply identify with the vision of the group, which is to become a premier global education institution. So quality is very much embedded in our culture and it's a big focus for us because we are spread across the nation and even as we grow, that is one thing that we do not want to compromise on and which we don't. Um, we do uh, several things, but I think the most important thing for us is the people that we have. So we are very fortunate. God has given us really good uh, team members, staff, teachers, educators who are dedicated, who are very passionate about uh, their profession. And I would say that we are very proud of our school leaders, our heads of schools, our principals, uh, who have been with us from the beginning. Based on the pillars that provide an all-round development of the child, Ryan International has left no stone unturned in making the education process more participative and enjoyable. Our whole approach is very different. We love to give the best of the opportunities to our children. And we are able to do that uh, because of the size of our group. So we are able to leverage not only best practices, but of course we are able to um, involve our children in various exchange programs, nationally, internationally. Uh, we are able to host um, various initiatives like the Performing Arts Festival, which is attended by, I would say now it's grown over the last 15 years, about 30,000 children that participate from 30 plus countries uh, when we host it. And we have various Saturday events. We have uh, the Indian Moral United Nations, which is the first Moral UN that was brought into India. We have various international partnerships and tie-ups, uh, whether it be our, our program with NASA, whether it be our landmark partnership with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, with the government, with the universities in the US and the universities abroad. So for us, it's, it's what we offer our children, the exposure, the platform and the access, not only to education, not only to the academic side of education, but I would say that we look at the holistic development of the child. heard of no institution which focuses on uh, in philanthropy or environment or even on journalism. We have a BBN course which helps us become, uh, we are also in, uh, known as young journals. So these courses uh, upset us apart from all other institutions. A school with a difference. opening a whole new world for children today. Shaping them into individuals that are confident and ready to conquer the world. With that, we come to an end of today's episode. We'll be back next week with the next Brand Summit. Thank you for watching.